All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a drain and refill on a Toyota Prius. Now this is gonna be similar <clears throat> from the 2004 to the 2009 model. Now from the ones 2010 to 2014 or 15, they'll be a little bit different. But for the most part, um, I want you to understand this, that you need to use specifically Toyota Fluid. Um, you're gonna be using the Toyota ATFWS Fluid. You're gonna need four quarts. That's just going to be a drain and refill. Now you're going to need a size 24 millimeter for the job. So I'm going to be using a half inch ratchet because obviously for the socket size. And then you're going to need a 10 millimeter hex. So that's pretty much it for the job. Um, and then as to add the fluid, basically I'm going to be using a funnel and a hose. I believe it's going to be a 3 8 hose. Um, and it's about, about 2 feet in and a half I want to say but you should be good with two feet um, but this is a very simple job to do you do it yourself don't take it to the dealership or anywhere else <coughs> make sure that the car is leveled um, so you kind of want it like leveled out you don't want it tilted because obviously the fill plugs on the front of the transmission and you might overfill it now if you overfill it obviously the fluid is gonna have to escape somehow and it might go through the breather too. Now this is a very simple step that every Prius owner forgets. I mean literally a lot of people they're like what we have to service the transmission fluid? Yes of course you need to serve it, service it to prolong the transmission's life. Um, now these guys are pretty they're a pretty bulletproof transmission. I mean, I don't speak highly on transmission, especially CVT transmissions, but I'm pretty happy with these type of transmissions. Um, now, I'm gonna start talking about random stuff, but if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions in, in regards to this job, and then share the video with other people that they wanna know about this, and then hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future, and then we're gonna go ahead and start this video after the intro. Alright, so here's going to be our drain plug right here. This is where the 10 millimeter hex is going to be. So we're going to go ahead and drain that out. And then our fill plug, it's going to be right up, right up there. So just kind of right above it, that's where you're going to fill it. So literally on this side, do not touch this one. We're not worried about that one. We're worried about the one on the right side of the casing. So you got your top one. And then right above here, right next to this nut right here, that's where we're going to take that off. Alright, so after you're... After the fluid's draining, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and inspect the drain plug, the one with the hex on it. Now while you're inspecting this, you need to make sure that there's no metal chunks or metal um, flakes inside the, on this drain plug. There's metal shavings just like this. This is perfectly fine. So this is kind of telling you how the transmission is doing um, at the time of the moment when you're draining and um, filling it back up. So this is will give you a pretty big crucial on the life of the the transmission so we're gonna go ahead and um, clean this up so now we're gonna go ahead and put back on our drain plug you want to go ahead and torque this bolt to 29 foot-pounds so for some of you be like oh well, you didn't use the torque wrench well there's a little bit orange mark right here and then there's an the orange mark right there. That's kind of like the torque spec. I went just a tad bit over than what I normally would go. But uh, we're golden on this part. So coming from up top, what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and just slide the hose right down through here. So down through this way. So just like that, that's how the hose is going to enter it. So that's why I'm using the 3 8 because it fits in per uh, like perfect inside of there. Now we're gonna keep our, our drain plug still kind of sitting right out here. So whatever like leftover, when we overfill it, it'll start pouring out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fill it up. Um, 
for my funnel I did cut it so I cut about about 12 inches off of it which is a little bit too long So as you can see right there, we're, we're losing fluid right now because now it's overflowing. So we're gonna go ahead and um, fill it right, or put, put on the, the fill plug. And then this will be torqued down to 29 foot pounds too. All right, so if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, share the video, and then hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future, and thanks for watching.